This week we'll be going over all of the achievements in Little Nightmares. This one was recommended by Gloden and Ray over on YouTube and has 22 achievements. The average completion time is about 19 hours or so, and whenever it comes to the achievement tracking website points that it's going to be worth, it'll be worth 64 points over on ASTATS, 9478 over on Steam Hunters, and 25411 on Metagamer Score. And now, let's get to hunting. This game will require two main playthroughs, the first being a collectible and other miscellaneous achievements run where we also go through all of the DLC chapters, and then the second will be a speedrun of only the base game. When it comes to the collectible achievements, Light Up Your Life, Little Lost Things, Rascal, Not Alone, Is Anybody Out There, and I'm Losing You, I made a separate video going over all of the collectibles in the game, so you'll want to pull that up while you're going through your first run, and then go through the rest of this video for all of the other achievements that are in the game. So, starting out with Chapter 1, the first achievement we can get is Highly Sprung for jumping on a bed six times. You can do this in most of the chapters, but basically just go find a bed, get on top of it, and jump six times until the achievement pops up. Then we'll get the prison at the end of chapter one for completing the game. This one is story related, so it's unmissable and you'll get it just through playing the game. During chapter two, you'll eventually climb up a bookcase and jump across a piano. While on that piano, we can get Six's song for running across all of the keys. You really just have to get on it and run back and forth across and eventually the achievement will pop. Next will be The Lair for finishing Chapter 2. Of course, this is also story related and unmissable. Then we can get Kitchen Hand for throwing three ingredients into the cauldron in the kitchen area. This will be right up here where one of the chefs will end up going into a loop walking between tables preparing food. You'll need to try to bring three items of whatever kind, they could be fish heads, carrots, or even things like cans or soap, it doesn't really matter, and throw them into this cauldron without being caught. The easiest way to do this is going to be when the chef moves over to the right side of the room, you run over to the table underneath where he's at, then as he moves back over to the left, you can walk up to the cauldron and throw your item in. Then just repeat that three times and boom, that one will pop. Elusive will be another achievement that we can get on this chapter for being chased and escaping the enemy just as they're about to grab you six times. You can really do it on chapters 2, 3, and 4, but I preferred chapter 3 since this is a kitchen area and it's pretty easy to do it in. This doesn't have to be in a row or with one enemy, so you could do it a few times naturally and then a few times when you're grinding it out. And even if you die in the middle of it, you still have the other times counting for the achievement, so don't worry too much about that either. Basically, you just have to have the enemy chase you, and when it pauses for a second, slide to get away from it, and if you do it successfully, the eye will show up in the bottom right corner letting you know that it counted and it's saving. The kitchen will be for completing chapter 3, the kitchen area. This one's also going to be unmissable. Next will be the guest area for finishing up chapter 4, and that is story related so it'll be unmissable during your playthrough. Then another story related one that'll be unmissable is the ladies quarters for completing chapter 5 and the last chapter of the base game. Moving on to the DLC achievements, the first we have is fun and games ahead for making a basket with the ball in this area. Basically you just have to go grab the ball and throw it into this basket in the middle. It did take me a little bit to get it to actually go in. But if you just come stand over in this area, this is where I was able to get it to line up. Now, if you made it this far, you've probably liked the guide up to this point. So I'll do the YouTuber thing and ask that you like the video, subscribe, and comment down below to let me know that you've made it this far. And if you want to go a step further, hit the join button below the video to join the member club for as little as 99 cents to help fund future video production. Now, let's get back into it. You can get so close at the end of the first DLC for completing it. Of course, that means that it's going to be unmissable as long as you play through that first DLC. Then during the second DLC, we have Ashes in the Maw, which is one of the longer side achievements. Basically, in this area with the big long arm guy, you're going to need to come all the way down to the left side by running on the rags. Then throw a monkey over in the corner so that you can run back around and over to this lever. Then run over to the right room and hit the button to turn on the saw so that you can grab this little wooden gnome statue. This is going to be what you need to bring back with you over to the big furnace that we saw earlier. 
so you'll grab it and bring it over to the trap door on the left, which you'll have to throw another monkey as a distraction for and get the trap door open and drop it down. Down here you'll let the gnome sit until further into the chapter when you get the door to the right of the train tracks open. Then you'll grab that wooden statue and bring it all the way to the right where you'll put it on this trap door and head over to the right further to the big area with the furnace so that you can drop down to the floor below and pull the handle to get that wooden statue down. Then just take it with you over to the furnace and throw it in for this achievement. And in sight you'll get at the end of DLC 2 when you finish that one. Of course, that's the unmissable one for this chapter. Moving on to the last DLC, we have Ashes to Ashes, which has a little bit of an interesting puzzle that you're gonna have to do to get this one done. Up here on the second floor of the big library room, you can go into the right side of the room. Back here, you'll need to go pick up the book here on the left with half of a mask on the spine. Carry that with you all the way downstairs and back over to the left as far as you can go. Once you get to this door, just go over to the bookshelf to the left of it and you'll see the book with the other half of the mask. Put this book inside and that's going to open up a hidden door to the left. And then just knock this jar off the table for this achievement. Then at the end of this DLC, you can get We'll Meet Again for finishing that third DLC. Again, this is going to be an unmissable achievement for this chapter. The last achievement and second playthrough will be for Hard to the Core for speedrunning the base game in under an hour without dying. This would be a normally tough thing to do, but you can actually back up your save and then restore it if you do die and get around the no death part. I made a video guide showing the full run and strategy for completing it, so be sure to check that out when you get to this one. And with that, we have all of the achievements in Little Nightmares. Now be sure to check out my playlist for my other little nightmare achievement guides or whichever one of my videos YouTube recommends.